now we have this example and i hope you have understood the method of finding singular solution if you have a given differential equation you need to differentiate it with respect to p that differential equation was in one parameter family p okay and then you need to eliminate p between 1 and 2 okay between 1 and 2 you need to eliminate p we have discussed in detail i just want to summarize it okay and then you will find solution or uh, general solution phi x y c okay and then you will find curly phi by curly c and then you will eliminate c okay and the common solution between 3 and 6 will be singular solution okay and if we get here in equation number 4 we get a quadratic equation then we will find discriminate of that quadratic equation with respect to c okay discriminate okay then that is called singular solution and singular solution should satisfy given differential equation okay and now we come to i told you that if we get only one solution then though we do not need to go further after step 3 these were some steps for finding differential for finding singular solution okay so now we have this singular this have uh, we have this differential equation what do we need to do differentiate it with respect to p what will you get 18p into y minus 2 is equal to 0 this implies p equal to 0 okay now we need to eliminate p between this and this that means we will substitute the value of p in this we get substitute the value of p in 1 okay so we get this will be 0 we get 3 minus y is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 we, we, we get only one solution that means this is the singular solution okay if we get two or more solution then we move to step four five six and then common between three and six is singular solution okay so i hope you are getting what is singular solution what is the method of finding singular solution